Hey guys, Garrett Lewis here with Tour Striker Golf Academy. And I've got the Tour Striker Smart Ball here. And me and Paul, we've been working on developing his sense of awareness um, with his arm structure, okay? He was kind of having trouble and it was kind of breaking down. So I love this training device made by my mentor and my boss, Martin Chuck. And so if I put this strap, and it's got a nice little adjustable strap here too, which is nice. I'm gonna put this over my head and then I'm going to adjust this where I need it. And for me, you know, this is about a comfortable length here. And I, I, what I want this to do is I want this to sit comfortably in between my forearms, okay? I want it in between my forearms, super, super critical because I don't want it up here in my elbows, okay? I want it just in between my forearms. Now, what we were working on is we were hitting little nine to three shots out there, okay? And, and Paul was kind of having some you know, working through some, some sense of this right arm kind of getting in a situation like this and the ball would fall out, okay? And I see that a lot, right? So we put this smart ball in here between his forearms and he was feeling like he was squeezing these forearms together as he developed his backswing, okay? And his feedback was just not wanting that ball to fall out, right? And so, so let's, you know, a lot of times, like I said, I'll see people collapse this, this and for him, this right elbow gets a little back here and the ball falls out. Okay, so we were hitting little nine to three shots, but also important too, as he begins transition and he gets into impact, that the ball is still in between his forearms and then into post impact here where I'm about left arm parallel, I'd say I'm not going full with this shot. And so if I tipped over to the golf ball here, I'm gonna take a look, verify where I'm going. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit a little nine to three shot out there for you. Okay, so the whole time there, I was feeling that sense of awareness, squeezing these forearms together and keeping that ball in between my forearms and, and I didn't wanna ever break down my arm structure, okay? Super, super um, important because oftentimes I'll see people, um, another note to this, I'll see people as they begin transition, they might separate these arms, okay? And that's oftentimes where people get into trouble and the, the club will kind of start to raise and they'll hit a lot of top shots and they're, their impacts just won't be very um, consistent. Um, contact won't be great. All right, Paul, so now Paul's gonna kind of demo um, what he was doing earlier, and I'll, I'll kind of talk through what we were working on. So here you go, Paul. Take this bad boy right there. He's gonna just put it over his head, and the ball should sit comfortably in his forearms, and if it doesn't, he can adjust it. Perfect, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then just, without a ball in play just take a few swings kind of prime up the fill and these don't have to be full i want them to be about nine to three guys so not full and he's just feeling that sense of awareness of his forearm squeezing together and just trying to keep that ball in there the whole time it's hard good okay now let's hit one and it, this doesn't have to be 100 percent, guys at home especially when you start out you can, you can hit full swings with a ball in here but starting out to get this fill just little nine to three shots. Maybe I should start making you run laps like you're a little junior there in school, huh? <laughs> sure. Flare those feet, Paul. Okay, but that was a nice shot, guys, for your for the viewers at home. Paul hit a little nine to three shot. wasn't very full, but what'd you what'd you feel there, Paul? I felt like I had more control in this part of the swing, like from here to here, and I wasn't flaring my elbows out like this. I was like, I felt like I just had control yeah. through the swing. Good. Okay, because yeah, one of the things we've been working on with Paul's is that right elbow gets a little... I, could, I do this. Kind of like the flying right elbow, kind of flying, flying right elbow. elbow. Right? So we lose that sense of awareness there, so... I mean, it's a good way of just like not doing that, really. Because mm -hmm. what I was doing is I'd come here and I'd go, Arr! and then the ball would fall out. Nice, good. Now you can kind of relax there but guys see how so Paul probably could have stayed there for for days I could have left him there with his with his finish because the other key is that when you're hitting this and you're starting out with this get into this nice little finish position in balance and the ball is just comfortably in there between your forearms like there's no sense of, of it falling out yeah I have a little bit of balance too I'm not like falling forward with right. the swing yeah so one of my biggest problems was a flying right elbow, which I didn't even know what it was. And really my elbow was coming out and I would lose control of my swing and 
I know what to do. So the smart ball has really helped me out a ton because I'm able to consciously know to keep those arms together. And if I don't, and the elbow starts to come out, the ball drops and I know, okay, I gotta keep that arm structure. So this is a really great way of practicing that, especially if you have that problem. So big thanks to my golf instructor Garrett here at the Tour Striker Golf Academy. And if you guys have any more questions, be sure to comment down below. Garrett's always checking. If you wanna see more of our videos together, check out this video right here and we'll see you guys out on the course.